Yo, everyone, what's up? This is my guide for, or to show you any gear that can you can do a daily trial of 164 plus. So that can be done on 168, 167, etc. Um, what I'm using right now is a pickaxe. It's a 168 with shockwave freezing and rampaging. It does 20,000 damage. And if you stand back from a distance like this, you can hit mobs from all the way over there. Like, um, like, I can show you that dumb real quick. You can hit him from even like that part. Staying all the way over here, you can hit him. Look at that. That's a long distance. I'm using spider armor because it has 25% melee attack speed. And it's about 66,000 health. This with the mushroom is a very good mix. You hit so fast. Um, I have two cooldown chance, so I have double cooldown. That means my mushroom can last forever. Literally. By the time it's at one second, see? I can just recharge it. I doubt you get this lucky to get a uh, double cooldown spot armor though, so... I would probably just look for a single cooldown potion barrier, because potion barrier is very useful for Apocalypse plus 20. I'm using this Sovereign um, 169 bow. Not the best bow, but it's on um, my highest level. And it's multi shot so I'm using it. These are the three artifacts you need. A mushroom, for sure. Love medallion. Comes in very useful. You can um, make up to three mobs, your allies. Very useful if you do it against vindicators or zombies. Even creepers. Very useful. Because sometimes creepers, like the enchanted ones, go against your allies so they blow up. It's are like quick and electrified. So you have to deal with them. Boots of Swiftness, I use these to, um, yeah, I just use these to get across the land very, very quickly, obviously. They're also infinite, because by the time we get to one second, you can reach them. So you can run like this infinitely times if you just keep pressing down the circle, which I don't really want to do, but, yeah, if you want to get to, um, go across the map fast, this is what I recommend. This is also another tactic for, like, running through the map, which I don't recommend. Because some maps are different than others, there's a gate and some maps and some maps have or some mobs have like quick enchantments and like electrified so it can just like be right behind you and run really quick with electrified and instant insta kill you. So yeah, this is my trick for daily trials. Awesome. When you go when you just go through a room like this, and there's like say like you know, like 20 mobs in here, and just... Yeah. Don't leave. Just kind of like, stay in the corner. If you have, if you... If, make sure you have a potion when you come in here too. And your medallion. Just make sure you have both. Because the potion has a seat. 9 seconds of potion barrier. So you can just run into a, like a, like a crowd of mobs. And with, if you have strength on, that's a good mix. Because you can just basically hit them like this forever. With critical hit also is a good mix too, because it's like 100,000 damage from a critical hit with the screen. But my pickaxe doesn't have a critical hit. So if you can get critical hit, that'd be nice. Ramp punching. Shockwave is the only requirement for pickaxe. If you don't have shockwave, then... So yeah, that's my guide for uh, day trials. Just make sure you stay from like a distance. Like You can hit through walls too, so it's like... Is there like a pillager over there with a bow? You can hit through a wall while I'm shooting you. Even like bosses like the one guy from Desert Temple. You can shoot you can keep hitting him. And your shockwave will like disintegrate his head so that he won't be able to counteract it. So you can keep doing this until you use the uh, Vanguard building. That's and yeah, that's my uh showcase. Hope you enjoy.